Copy, copy, 59006. You are 5959 Oregon, Oscar Radio. Hey, one other great thing uh, with ham radio is exchanging QSL cards. And for me, it's a way to get a little peek into the world and how small the world really is when you can reach out and communicate with people. I've got a very small collection, um, and I'm growing the collection. I've got a whole bunch of QSL cards that I'm sending out right now, but um, I'll tell you, it's pretty exciting to get one in the mail and uh, remember that contact and then get a little picture or a little snippet into that person's life. And I think that's another very interesting thing about amateur radio. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray. Echo Tango X-Ray, I have you 5959 Oregon, Oscar Radio. QSL, QSL, 1461, 73, good luck. I used to live on Guam. Thanks. It hasn't changed a whole lot. 73, and all the way to Hotel Street, Denmark, actually. KD0, FLD, mobile. Hey, well, thanks uh, for stopping back by my little shack. And uh, this weekend is the ARRL 10-meter contest. And uh, I have to be honest, this is the very first contest I've participated in at any level. And uh, for me as a new ham radio operator, it's a challenge to quickly pick up the call signs and make the exchange. And um, I, I've learned a lot from doing that and it's helping uh, to sharpen my skills. Certainly not a big contest player here. I think I've made um, four, six, eight, uh, about 16 contacts. and. Um, the main thing for me is just working my radio, trying to pick out the call signs, and making the exchange. But you just heard me make a call with NH2HX. And uh, his name is Ramon, and he lives in Guam. Well, that's my second contact this weekend with Guam. I've spoken to Japan four times, Argentina, uh, my good buddy uh, K4PAD in Florida, um, Texas, Illinois, um, I made a contact with uh, New Zealand, so it's been very, very exciting, and um, if you guys aren't into ham radio but you think it looks interesting, I'd give it a go. Uh, getting your license is not hard, and it's a lot of fun, and you meet a lot of great people. In fact, I just got a Christmas card from a good buddy, a fellow YouTuber, beautiful family, John, and... Um, well, that's a beautiful family, John, and congratulations on the twins. I'm sure they're keeping you guys pretty busy. I'm going to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and uh, wish all of you ham radio operators 73, and I hope to meet you on the air sometime. Now, one thing I'm using um, is either my laptop or my iPad, and I'm on QRZ or QRZ.com, and you can plug in uh, someone's call sign and look them up. So this last contact with Guam, it took me a little while to listen and listen, but I finally got his call sign, plugged it in, NH2HX, and uh, looked and saw that he was in Guam. I make a promise to myself not to get on the air or press the mic button until I can hear a clear contact. I can identify the call sign of the person I'm trying to contact and I just plug it into here to make sure I've got the right call sign and then I'll try and make that contact and I wait until I hear especially like on these contests he'll give his call sign then he'll say QRZ and that's when I'll press my mic and give my call sign you want to really listen for a little while and try and get the feel of the traffic and be polite and try and transmit when it's appropriate to transmit um, Remember, this is a community. Um, these are people that you're making friends with over the air, and you want them to listen to your uh, skills and uh, be appreciative of your tolerance to the system. And on a big contest like this, especially with someone in Guam 
Japan, Indonesia, New Zealand, Australia, those people are getting piles up and you want to listen and try and key up your mic when you know that you can make that contact and you're decreasing uh, the workload on the pile up. At least that's my understanding of it, but I'm trying to be respectful of those rules. All right, guys.